Okay. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the quick trick, which is the uh, crate kit that we carry where I work. It's a pretty popular crate kit. So the only supplies that you need is the um, prepackaged quick trick kit and then a BVM. Um, so to find your uh, landmark, um, which is the first thing we want to do, we want to find that cricoid thyroid membrane. Obviously on this mannequin, it's going to be where the open area is. Um, but we can find this on any patient. Of course, you're going to be at their head. Um, we'll find their Adam's apple, which is their thyroid cartilage. You'll feel a little divot, and then you'll find their cricoid cartilage. That membrane in between, that little divot, is what we're aiming for um, to introduce our quick trach. It's still pretty tough uh, to poke through, so you will get some resistance, um, but it's going to be a lot easier than going through, and plus we don't want to damage any of these cartilages here. So it's really easy to find on yourself. If you just tilt your head back, you can feel your Adam's apple. You'll feel a little divot below that, and then you'll feel that next hard uh, a ring, and that's going to be your cricoid cartilage. So we're aiming for that divot in between the two cartilages. Inside your quick tree kit, you'll have your cleaning agent, which this one has some alcohol prep habits in it. Um, and then when you open your kit, you'll have your uh, introducer, you'll have your securing strap, and you'll have your adapter, which I'll show you how to put on the end of your um, trach so it can connect to the bag and give you a little bit more wiggle room with that BVM. So we found our spot. We're gonna cleanse the area. We'll go ahead and take our introducer. Um, make sure that your red stopper is on there. These do kind of fall off sometimes. Um, and then when we're going to introduce this to our patient, like I said, we're sitting at the head, so you're gonna want this pointing away from you. And as you can see, it is curved. So once we uh, break through that membrane, it is gonna have a natural kind of curve down into it. So I kind of think of it as you're cannulating a trachea, just like you would with an IV uh, into a vein. Uh, so you wanna follow that natural curve into the trachea so we don't poke through to the esophagus. So to get this in, you want the bevel um, away from you and you're going to first just poke through the skin and then puncture that cartilage and you should feel a pop. Um, as you can see, it naturally just starts curving along that natural curve of the quick trach, so it helps guide it through the trachea instead of going straight down into the esophagus. You're going to push it down to this red stopper. Sometimes these red stoppers come off on their own once you hit it um, or just remove it. From here, you don't want to advance the needle anymore. We're just going to slide this in place. Um, but first, we need to aspirate, so we're going to pull back on the syringe. We just want to make sure that one, we're able to pull back. If we get a lot of resistance, we could be in the esophagus um, and it's just going to collapse. Uh, you should get a mixture of air bubbles in here uh, with some blood because it is a messy procedure. So it is normal to have a little blood in there, but you should also have a lot of air bubbles. So once I've confirmed I'm in the trachea, I can go ahead and insert this plastic piece forward. And it's a little hard when I'm on my plastic mannequin. But as I pull that forward, you're going to pull the needle catheter out. That does not advance any further. We're just going to advance that plastic piece. From here, you do need to secure it uh, right away. So this strap just goes through here. Um, it is naturally going to want to come out. So make sure that you are securing it to your patient as soon as you confirm that you're in the trachea. And since he doesn't have a head, it's not gonna be that type on my mannequin. <clears throat> now we can go ahead and connect our BVM. So we have this nice adapter. Um, because this is a short tube, this adapter just uh, reduces the resistance and it gives me a little bit more movement with my BVM and I'm at less risk for pulling out this uh, tube here. From here, I can just go ahead and bag my patient until I get to the hospital. So this helps keep you from pulling that out, but make sure you're putting the securement strap in place as well.